give the chess lectures for tonight, so please take your seats. So, welcome to the first evening of chess lectures. Tonight, uh, the lectures will be by uh, Amatia Avni and Yochanan Atik from Israel concerning endgame studies, and the third one by Bernd Elinghofen from Germany about help play, helpmates and help selfmates. I would like to call Mr. Avni to take the floor. Enjoy. Hello, hello, good evening to all. My name is Amatia Avni, I'm a study composer from Israel. I'm going to talk about presentation, the impact of presentation of studies on uh, uh, um, I will talk about uh, presentation of studies uh, as part of the creative process, meaning we have a good idea, we find a, a good set, a, a, a correct setting, I believe it's not enough, we should find an attractive and uh, friendly narrative that captures all the elements of the study and uh, uh, present it to the public, so that we we'll, we'll understand. The topic is studies, but I, I assume that uh, much of what I'm going to say, at least to some extent, will be relevant for uh, problem composers. Uh, of course, uh, professional solvers like here in the Congress uh, do not need uh, explanations, they know what, what they're about to, to find, but uh, all the others would be very happy if they have some explanation what is going on, what is the merit and virtues of the, of the compositions, uh, what differentiates this composition from the other, etc. In recent years, I have been uh, frequently a tourney director or, or judge of studies. I find people send their solutions without text at all, or they, find, uh, they send the solutions with no sidelines, only main line. Uh, think about it, a guy sits in his room, uh, works for many, many hours, sometimes for weeks, for months, until he, he produces a work of art, but he won't expand, he won't make an effort to an extra 10 minutes to, to explain to the world what is going on in his work. I find this absolutely insane. I think that uh, a good explanation also uh, enhances, elevates the study to, to a new level. May, on many occasions, if you explain the study uh, right, it will make it better. I'm going to uh, use some of my own studies uh, to, to uh, demonstrate my views. They are not the main thing, they are just tools for uh, supporting my views, so I'm not going to, to uh, analyze them deeply, just to scan them through, uh, and that's it. Okay, the first slide I'm going to show is from the Programmist uh, uh, 1980, uh, Why to Play and Win. First move is uh, check, uh, gives check and also attacks the black queen. The best uh, 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 move is King D8. Now, if white captures the queen, comes uh, rook takes E7 check, total liquidation. White is left with the bishop, but it's the bishop of the wrong color. The h, h pawn is queen x square is, is black, and the white is, is the white square bishop, so it's only a draw. Another tempting uh, uh, idea is to give uh, uh, to give here check and check, because if black takes the knight or even plays king d6, then it's mate in one d7. However, black defense will uh, this move, we take and check. Now it transpires that uh, this is a, a perpetual check because he can't move to a7 because mate in a1, and after he plays uh, king a5, comes uh, king e1 check, and he can't go west because of mate on b4, so it's perpetual. Back to this position, the best watch move is. King b6, leaving both queens hanging. Now if uh, black takes uh, the, the knight with rook or queen, 
He self blocks his king and plays mate on a8 or d5. So the best uh, black can do is give here a check. Uh, so white takes and check, and this is the best. We came back to the same position, only the black queen is not under attack now. Still, black is lost because the threat, threat uh, uh, knight c6 check is too strong. The play ends like this. Uh, uh, king takes the knight, check. Only move, check, and now not check on e6 because it takes the check, but check here, uh, winning the queen. Now, the, the study got to the third prize, the, the judge was uh, John Nam, and he said he was appreciative of the play, he liked the play, but he said the finish was too crude, too simple for the uh, study to get higher place. Meaning, uh, many firewalls do with the solution, but it doesn't end with a bang, it's just a simple ending. I tended to agree with this verdict until some months later I saw my study, along with some other studies, in Shachmati in SSR, and Kuznetsov wrote, so people translated it to me, that the last move of the solution repeats a theme of the first move. Let's look at it. The first move, there is a battery on the uh, on the there's a battery on the second line, and we activate the battery by giving check and attacking the queen. Now the last move uh, again we have a battery here on the f file, and again check and winning the queen. The same. I was not aware of this while I composed the study. Now, if you present it like this, the study is not just a series of right moves, it gains a coherence, there is a common thread here. It starts and finishes in the same motive. Now, there are two points there. I claim that uh, presented like this, it would make a, a better impression on viewers. This is trivial. The deeper point is, I think, that by, by presenting it like this, the study would become better. Self-presentation is part of the process and it, it elevates the study to a higher level. In this particular case, I have nothing to complain. The study got third prize and it, it got to feed the album and I'm happy. But all I say is that I could have presented it in a better way. The next study I'd like to uh, show is uh, exactly uh, 40 years ago, uh, why do play and win? Uh, of course, he has first to, to uh, take care of the black pawns. So he goes uh, queen b3. And now, suppose black plays d2, uh, white continues, takes, and takes, and is winning. So, after queen, king b3, black advances his other pawn. Black white takes and plays d2. In the first variation, the king went east. In this variation, the king goes west. We will soon see a parallel uh, 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 maneuver by the white rook on a larger scale. Okay, a critical position is soon to arise. The white takes here, makes a queen. Check and here. Now black is materially up, and uh, but the black the, the, white, the black pieces are restricted. So uh, how about uh, rook b two? Uh, threat rook b one. Black has only one rejoinder, but it's sufficient. Queen b three, and uh, it's more than enough. He even wins. So let's try another way. Instead of queen b two, we'll give check and. How about rook h2, coming from the other wing? Once again, uh, uh, black has only one defense, queen d3, but it's more than enough. Okay, so we should play check and back to the other wing. Now queen d3 is met by bishop uh, b5 and wins. In order not to lose immediately, black must uh, push his pawns. 
The best you can do is play E5. Now the variation rook B1 only draws. It goes something like this. Uh, do not analyze, just trust me. It goes something like this and ends uh, in a draw. So after E5, black, a white plays H5. Uh, he takes, plays this, leaving black queen in the cage. Eventually, black must play D3. Now rook B1 again doesn't win because of the same pawn race that we saw now. However, because the D3 square is now occupied, we are going to the other wing now, and this time black is losing. He doesn't have the, uh, the, the, the possibility to win D3. The end is check, takes, takes, and bishop e5 and goes. <coughs> now, the Israeli tuning of 76 was uh, relatively weak. And in this weak field, this study got only a commendation. And in retrospect, I think I should have presented it better. I was 21 at the time. I'm not sure if I was even familiar with just terms like logical play, thematic tries, switchback, obstruction of d3, parallel play by king and, and uh, rook uh, east-west, but they are all here. I believe, I can't prove it, I believe that if I had presented it like this, it would be evaluated uh, as better and become a better work. Uh, does a textual uh, uh, presentation always uh, lift the, the, the work to a higher level. Well, not always. Sometimes, admittedly, the books are enough. The text makes no big difference. In the next two studies, which I, I will uh, show very briefly, uh, I think that uh, the moves speak for themselves and that there is no need. What have I done here? Well, someone here? Why should I uh, uh, push? No, okay. Fine. Uh, as you can see, I'm not very advanced technologically, and so is, so is the next presenter, so we hope for the best. Uh, okay. Well, this uh, study from Pisky for Shah 79, after some introductory moves, it reaches this position. Normally a black queen is, is uh, going, uh, is stronger than two light officers. Uh, but perhaps because the king is incarcerated, we can build a fortress. How about king c8? With the idea of bishop c7 and leave the king there. However, this is an illusion. Black just plays queen d4, he takes on e4 and is very happy. So instead of this comes the rather surprising move, bishop a7. <coughs> if uh, no black piece captures the, the uh, bishop, then just bishop c5, knight c8, and you see what's going on. If king captures, then uh, knight c8, uh, b6, and perpetual check, so uh, black plays queen takes a7, now comes knight c8. He must give check, and now not king d7 because of b6, but king b6, and there is a, a, a mutual Zugzwang, and black must uh, take the, the knight, and it is still me. Now, I could have used the word change. Change is a big buzzword nowadays. We have a target that the king was incarcerated, and then after a short while the queen was incarcerated. The target was the king, we made a change, and the target was the queen. Would this use of the word change make any difference for the evaluation of the study? I don't think so. The moves in this uh, uh, situation speak for themselves. Another short uh, uh, demonstration uh, is from uh, Estoresco uh, Jubilee Tourney uh, 2010. Why to play and draw? White appears to be lost because he is materially down. Uh, his, nah, his bishop is under attack, 
and uh, the equal uh, is the two squares from promoting. There is a, a nice save. It's a cute study, but very short solution. Bishop e6. The threats of uh, queen b6 check or queen b7 or something other, uh, black is actually forced to win a whole queen. Now comes check. If queen a4, then queen d5 is enough play for, for a draw. So black plays king b4. And now uh, the just born queen is sacrificing itself with a draw. <laughs> Two white queens uh, sacrifice successively. I could have used the word phoenix, which it is. A white queen is dead, another one is reborn. Would it make a difference? I don't think so. So up until now I showed two cases. One case, studies A and B, I think that uh, effective textual presentation would have made a significant difference. The study would become better and evaluated better. Case two, uh, 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 studies C and D, I don't think it would make, make much difference. You can do with it, you can do without it. I still think we should give some verbal uh, written explanation, but in this case it will not make a difference. Then the third case, in which people use or misuse presentation to make an impression as if something is going on. Big words, but very little underneath. It's very popular with politicians, right? Big words, but, but nothing uh, actually is going place. I, I have a little trouble how to demonstrate this. I don't have studies like this. I do have examples of other composers that use such uh, uh, ethics. Of course, I, I to do this would be to insult them, I won't uh, show uh, such composers. So uh, I chose a rather peculiar way uh, of uh, uh, demonstrating this. Uh, please uh, bear with me for the next minute. I'm going to present you a uh, presentation as a bluff, as a trick. To throw sand into, into other people's eyes. Okay. This is a position I have composed recently. Uh, it may seem quite plain, or it may seem, seem simple, but believe me, I, I worked on it hard, very hard for five years until I reached this uh, unique matrix. As you can see, it's the first time ever that we have a composition of only two pieces. I find this a major breakthrough. I think it opens the gate for many other inventions. I see some of you still look at the board in the hope that something will turn up. Trust me, it will not. Now, I composed this several months ago, and already we have uh, uh, this, uh, the Barcelona effect, very nice. And just a few days ago, the first day of the Congress, a young Serbian a composer had produced the the Grand Wonder. Very interesting, exciting, and opens the gates for new development. Okay, what do we have here? Big words, unique matrix, blah blah blah, Jerusalem theme. The content is absolute bullshit, okay? Which means what? Okay. Uh, sometimes we have this, and sometimes it succeeds and we are baffled. Okay, we see big words and many exclamation marks and we believe something is going on. A few months ago, I judged the Israeli 2015 studies tourney. One composer said the solution is 24 in moves long. Each move had an exclamation mark, sometimes two. After each move, he wrote, unique, the only move. At first, I was really impressed. Wow, it's 24, uh, 24 only move. Then I looked at the position, it was very boring and the study did not enter the war, but we have to be on guard. Okay. I would like to... Uh, you still focus on the position. Okay. Uh, I would like to sum up what, uh, what are my, my main points here in this uh, uh, presentation. The, what have I done here? Okay. The first uh, uh, 
most important thing I, I tried to, to say is that effective presentation, textual presentation, should be part of the creative process. Usually people rest after they find an idea and they find a correct setting. They say, okay, it's, 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 that, this is it. I believe that it's not over until we find a, a good narrative that explains to the public, whoever they are, and to the judge, what is it all about, what, what is the essence of this war, what is the connection between the element, what is what the virtue of this uh, study. Uh, if you accept this, then it follows that composers should develop their presentation skills. Usually we are focused on uh, imagination and strong technique, which is, which is very important, but we still have to present it. Uh, I don't know, uh, when I see solutions without text, I, I think, uh, what do people expect? Do they think that all the judges in the world all the, all the readers uh, of the world would, would spend time and effort to comprehend what runs in the composer's mind if the composer himself doesn't make the slightest effort to explain himself. I, I doubt it really. Uh, they take an analogy from literature. Suppose we read a book and the, the, the writer makes it extremely difficult for us. He uses difficult and complex language. He runs backwards and, for, and forward in the plot. He inserts obscure paragraph that we are supposed to understand 200 pages afterwards. Some people, yes, some people will make the efforts. Other people will throw the book with disgust and not look at it. Many people think, I'm not going to do this man's work. He's, he should facilitate my job, he should make me understand. Likewise, in compositions, I think, uh, of course in studies, but I think maybe also in problems, uh, the composer should have the responsibility to make the, the, uh, the, all the rest understand what they mean. And moves uh, alone are not always uh, enough. I have made uh, uh, three uh, cases on many occasions a coherent and lucid presentation and value, add value to our work, studies A and B. Sometimes it makes little or no difference, studies C and D. You can do with it, you can do without it, and on some occasions people will misuse presentation to buffer and uh, confuse viewers as in the uh, Jerusalem effect and uh, all this uh, story. To conclude, uh, before I pass the, the microphone to my friend Johan Anfe, composers should understand that until they have found attractive narrative to describe the war, the job is not finished. Please. Do take the extra minutes to explain uh, and, and make the work more coherent to find a, a common uh, thread about all the elements. Judges should be aware that presentation should never be a substitute for real content. When I showed the Jerusalem uh, theme, trust me, this is not what I have in mind when I say effective presentation. Effective presentation is taking a good work and add value by explaining what's going on. It's not uh, uh, taking uh, big words to uh, hide the fact that there is very little underneath. This ends my mini lecture. I hope you found it interesting and thank you very much for listening. Thank you.